Hey, Steven Ostrowski with Trimble and the Building Point Teens. Just before Roller Concrete in 2023, we were with local 404 in Cleveland doing an ADA ramp pour uh, for the apprentices to practice forming and pouring. We brought the X7 laser scanner with FieldLink on the tablet to help ensure everything was to code. While these were ripped out a few days later, there were two goals to show concrete contractors uh, that scanning is valuable. The first is to ensure the uh, ramp meets spec. When you're actually forming it, you can scan and then uh, take either basic measurements or compare that to a model if you have it. Um, obviously, these are pretty simple uh, ADA ramps, so typically you're not going to have a model. You can actually just compare it to the PDF or DWG drawing. Um, but the second goal was to have a snapshot of what the ramp looked like uh, right after it was poured. That way, if a couple of months down the line, someone says uh, you were out of spec and you need to tear it out and put it back in, you can actually show that the ramp was good or even just find the areas uh, that were that had some issues and either reform them or report them just there. Um, as you can see here, we'll uh, come back to the main screen. This is field link running on the tablet um, with a little section box. This is actually the scan um, data and what it captured from one scan. You can see there are a couple other scans here. For small scans like this, you actually probably wouldn't need multiple scans, you would just need one. And those are the uh, millions of points captured behind the scan, um, behind this image. So the scanner will self-level to three seconds. So you can just super flat floor analysis. Um, in this case, it even do really good um, vertical and elevation analysis. So here you can see um, kind of what that scan looks like with the model. If I come back, I, I can actually um, turn off the model and just take basic measurements. This is typically gonna show me uh, like rise and run uh, of these points that I select. Um, I can get uh, full distance change in Z over uh, uh, standard or slope distance and get my percent change to make sure my form work is good. Um, I can do this after they pour as well too, and we'll show you that. Uh, but what I can also do is if I have a model or even a plane, um, which is pretty easy to create in like Trimble SketchUp, it's very easy to actually create uh, what what a uh, model should look like. You can do a scan to model comparison here for the form work and then um, post pour. Um, what this is doing, it's actually coloring the scan data um, for distance away um, from the model. So here uh, you can see on the left, it's actually giving me the distance away as they're pouring um, of these points from the closest model components. I can really check um, to make sure everything is being put down flat and at the correct angle. Um, another thing I can do is at, at, after I come back to this more map, you can see the different variations. So essentially we have pre-pour here already, already gathered. Um, but I can actually tie these all together and look at the post pour too, um, just by turning them on and off. Uh, it is very simple to collect a scan. It'll collect 500,000 points a second. Um, so in about, yeah, usually about two and a half minutes, you have pictures and images um, and measurements like you see here. Uh, you can then also just from the scan data, take, take measurements or you can compare it back to that model. So if someone tells you eh, later down the line that, uh, some stuff's in the wrong spot, you can actually say, you can point to it and tell them, like, no, we're actually pretty good. Um, or if there is an issue, you can find out exactly where that issue is. So pretty simple, um, very easy to capture the data, very quick to capture that data. And then you can always do the analysis later, but you have a snapshot of what that looks like. I would encourage you to scan the formwork before, because then obviously that's how you're gonna actually lay that concrete um, to make sure it's good. Uh, you can do that within 20 minutes on pretty much any 8 a ramp that we put in, because um, the scanner will go up to 80 meters or 240 feet. Um, and then you just collect multiple scans to make sure you covered everything. Um, so within a couple minutes, maybe an hour, you've captured that entire formwork. You can do the analysis pretty quickly. And if it's very large, hopefully you do have a model that you can compare it to. If it's smaller, um, obviously you just do uh, kind of discrete point measurements or single point and uh, rise or run measurements. Um, and then after it's poured or while it's being poured, uh, you can scan to make sure it's going down flat uh, and you have a snapshot of what that ramp looks like uh, before you leave. So you don't have to come back out and argue it. Um, honestly, that's usually most of the savings as well too, is keeping going back to multiple trips to one site to talk about um, something like this when you can just do it and show online that everything is good. So. Thanks a lot, and um, please look for us at uh, World of Concrete. We will be at booth, um, 
N1655. Again, booth N1655 at Walter Concrete 2023. Um, we will have the X7 laser scanner along with our total stations that also run on FieldLink. Um, and we'll show you how to do the work right the first time and to how to capture that to make sure you don't have to go back out to site. Thanks.